Hi, this is Paul from QuickandMobile.com, and as you can see, we have quite a few wheelchairs that we're going to be looking at today. And in this video, in, in this section of the website, we're doing comparisons because let's face it, when you're shopping around for the correct medical mobility device to purchase, there can be a lot of choices. And even though these look very similar, there is a lot of areas that these chairs are different. So we're going to do a series of videos and on our website, quickandmobile.com, you can find this section basically right at the top of the website. And for those of you who would like to know, that is where you can find us online, quickandmobile.com. Okay, so let's get into really the first few components of purchasing a wheelchair, motorized wheelchair. These all look great and these are wonderful chairs, but let's just have a few questions that we're going to ask in mind. First question is, how much weight do you need the chair to hold? We've got chairs that, or there are chairs that hold up to 400 pounds. There's chairs that hold up to 450 pounds. There's chairs that hold up to 265 pounds. So that's one of the things that we'll get into, and we'll get a lot more into that in this, well, in later on in this video and in coming videos as well. So the first thing that we really want to get into in this video is some of the accessories. Like for example, we have right here an attendant controller bracket. Now this bracket allows you to mount the actual joystick. Right here we have a Falcon, and it allows you to take the joystick and mount it on the back of the chair. So an attendant could actually drive the chair. Now in this lot of chairs, we have just three chairs, three, that will allow you to put an attendant controller bracket on the back of the chair. You can see that this has got a straight bar here and actually move the joystick to the back of the chair. We have videos about how to do that as well, but for some people that's very important. So we have the Eagle, we have the Falcon. These two chairs both hold up to 400 pounds. They're carbon copies of each other. The only difference is the Falcon has the ability to recline. So the Falcon can become a recliner the Eagle cannot. And of course, we have the Pegasus over here, which is a carbon fiber chair. And the Pegasus, you can see, has a backrest that is a little bit arced. This is flat, this is arced, and we have adjustable seating, an adjustable seating harness. So if you took the chair and kind of turned it around here, you have the ability to completely lower the actual seating harness. So what you would do to use an attendant controller bracket on this chair is you'd have to lower it and you would have to have the joystick mounted kind of to the outside of the chair because it's not going to very easily go onto the back of the chair. And if you forced it, it could cause some damage. So that's, that's one component. So there's three chairs out of this lot of chairs that you can use an attendant controller bracket on. There's the Electra 7, but we don't have the Electra 7 here. The Electra 7 also holds up to 400 pounds. It is very similar to the Eagle, very similar to the Falcon, but it has 21 inches of space in between the armrests. So that brings us up to another very good point that we will get into in this video, and that is space in between the armrests. So if we're looking for chairs that you can accessorize, okay, so this video is about chairs that you can accessorize, we're looking at different components of how you would fit in the chairs that you would be able to accessorize. So what I mean by accessorize, headrest, attendant controller bracket, leg rest or leg extension kit, and something else called an armrest spacer kit. So if we take a look at the amount of space that we have in between the armrests, of the Falcon, we have 18 and a half inches of space. That's from the factory. Holds up to 400 pounds. And if we take a look at the Eagle here, we have got 18 and a half inches of space. The Electra 7, which is basically a carbon copy of the Eagle, has 21 inches or just under 21 inches of space from the factory. Now there's three chairs here, or two chairs, I should say, that an attendant, or not an attendant controller bracket, but an armrest spacer kit works for, and that is the Falcon, the Electra 7, which is not pictured here, and the Eagle. So that's going to give you the ability to add an additional three and a half inches of width in between the armrest of the chair. So you'll have 
22 inches, 22 inches, and with the Electra 7 right over 24 inches of space in between the armrests. So that's an accessory that's not pictured. We have the leg extension kit. Now I have multiple videos that we've done and you, you could absolutely subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanted to about really what these chairs look like with accessories, what these chairs, how to install the accessories, but you have the Falcon and you have the Eagle and of course the Electra 7, which is not here, that will fit the leg extension kit. The rest of these chairs that you see, they don't have the capacity to fit a leg extension kit. The other accessory that we'll keep in mind here is the headrest. Now I'm just showing parts and components of the headrest. The headrest is completely adjustable, has a lot of different areas that you can adjust, how tall, how far down. Headrest will be able to fit on a Falcon. Headrest is going to be able to fit on an Eagle. And the headrest is going to be able to fit on the Pegasus out of the chairs that are here. So there's three chairs really that can fit the headrest and the headrest basically has U-bars that kind of fit right to the back of the actual device so you would be allowed to attach the headrest. So I think from that perspective this, this first video is a pretty important video and just kind of determining really what you would be looking for. Now if you, if you absolutely need a chair that fits accessories well, we've got some great options. And of course, you can just visit quickandmobile.com and every right on the front page of Quick and Mobile, you can easily find each chair. Now in separate videos, of course, we have multiple chairs here. So I'm going to demonstrate folding, unfolding. What do they do? Comparing each chair to each other. But in this video, the main thing we wanted to do is which chairs allow you to attach to the accessories that you may absolutely need in order for the chair to function. So thank you so much for watching and again. Best course to find us is visit quickandmobile.com. Thank you for watching.